Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. Today we are going over two of the most awesome pieces of equipment you can possibly own. And Echo's got them and I got both of them here today. The PB9010T, the most baddest blower on the market, the most blowingest blower on the market, and the lightest chainsaw in North America, the CS2511. Before we get into all that though, I got my T242 Shindawa trimmer here. The last video I did, I was showing everybody my little uh, mistake I made. And the reason was because as you've seen in my previous videos, when I was trimming, I didn't have my muffler cover on there. And that's because my hole wallered out where my screw goes and holds the cover on. And I still haven't fixed that part of it. I still got to rethread that to get the screw in, but I do have a new top piece and a new muffler cover so I can get my job done. It might bounce around a little bit, but I'm going to make sure not to do that again about 45 minutes into trimming last weekend and uh one little half a second touch and i'm scarred for life so <laughs> i'm human just like you are we make mistakes and we learn from them don't we so i do want to announce the winners for last week's guess how i hurt myself <laughs> and it is terry holloway and tamra a i'm going to leave a comment on the comments that y'all left last week and tell you how to get a hold of me so you can give me your address and i can send you all some stuff thank you so much for commenting and uh, watching the video all right so i could read you the specs the cc's and all that i'm just going to pop up a picture here so you can see exactly how much it weighs that it's 5.2 pounds that it you know has 25 cc's of power that you can put a 12 or a 14 inch bar all that good stuff but what we really want to see is it up close what are the things that you know i like about it what is the things that you're gonna like about it well let me show you so first of all let's take the cover off on this one, I have it actually sold to a customer. They're picking it up Monday. So I am not going to cut wood with this one, but I am gonna show you all of the stuff. I do get to service it out because we do that for customers. So we will start it and run it here at the end, but it comes uh, with either a 12 or 14 inch bar. I have the 14 inch bar on this one that the customer chose and it comes with a three eighths low chain. Um, my favorite thing about these is that Echo is really good about sticking with designs that have worked for years, probably 30 to 40 years. They've had the same on and off switches on, on most of all of their uh, chainsaws, which is either on the top handle here. It has this one on the uh, other saws. They have a toggle switch. Toggle switches last forever. Um, that's awesome. Another thing about Echo is they've stuck with the same design of gas caps. Now they did on like the CS355, I think they had a different gas cap with a slightly smaller hole, but on this one, which even though it's a smaller chainsaw, they made larger caps. Now what's cool about this is sometimes people have an issue getting their cap off. I don't ever have an issue getting the Echo caps off. Mostly it's the, the steels or the Husqvarna's that I have issues with, but you can actually pull your pull rope out and the handle part, you can stick in the center here and it acts as an extra leverage to open your cap up, which that's awesome, okay. But very wide holes to get your bar oil and your gas in, um, which is an issue, you know, a lot of times they'll have that uh, bar oil hole sort of, you know, hidden by the handle and it'll make a mess. And thankfully on this one, they did not do that. It has an extremely easy start system. Um, uh, also has a primer bulb to uh, or purge bulb to get you going a little quicker. It's got a choke on the side. Um, it has the nut to hold the side cover on. Actually, whenever you unscrew it, it doesn't come off. It has this little latch here that holds on to the nut so you never lose it. It also the chain uh, catcher down here. Whenever you, if your chain uh, flies off and goes underneath your saw. It has this roller, which they do this a lot on the professional ones. I don't know why they don't put these on everything because it's such a better design than that metal prong that sticks out the side and bends. And, and then a lot of times it'll bend up so high that people's chains, as soon as they get a little loose, will catch on it and that will make it come off and it will ruin their chain. And so that's not good. So the chain adjuster is right here on the side. It also has a bar oil adjustment right here on the top. I'm gonna show you all that. Maybe you can see it in there. If not, bar oil adjustment right there. That's pretty cool. I mean, this is just an amazing little saw for 25 cc's. That's like, that's like a heavy duty weed eater trimmer. If you, you know, 
for commercial use is usually 25 cc's and bigger. They put all that energy and power into this tiny little chainsaw. So for going and having a chainsaw up in the you know tree with you, this is the way to go. It's 25 cc's. I mean, it's gonna take care of, of the limbs, 14 inch bar. There's not much of a bigger bar that you're gonna to wanna to carry up there. I mean, you can take a 16 inch bar up there, but uh, for five, six pounds, you're not gonna beat it. Now it does list for about $400. So, I mean, you're gonna drop a dime, but you have a, um, I think a one year commercial warranty and a five year homeowner warranty on these. So it's really worth it. It's the most awesome little saw ever. After we're done tell, uh, telling you about the blower, I'm gonna put some gas and oil in this, service it out, and we're gonna start it up and see how it sounds. 1,110. That's pretty much all I gotta say to sum up this blower. 1,110 cubic feet per minute. Do you know how much air volume that is? That's insane. They put this blower with 80 cc's, tubes the size of sewage drains, okay? It's gigantic. It's like having a motorcycle sitting on your back. It's awesome, pure awesome. Now, a lot of people wonder why they had the PB8010. It was out for a minute, a hot minute, and then they dropped it and they came out with the PB9010. Let's be full disclosure here. Echo decided that it was better to revamp once they realized some of the mistakes they made than to try to fix everything. So they did, they did some recalls. They had issues with the straps coming apart. They had issues, I mean, this is a big blower. It's got a lot of weight to it. I mean, some of the stitching did come out. It wasn't like it was falling off people's backs, but you gotta have the stitch work when you got a $600 blower. They, uh, the accordion tube where the uh, uh, elbow meets and it, and it moves the, the tube system that had an issue. Um, they just, they didn't want a bad taste in people's mouths. So with the few things that they found that was going wrong with it, they got rid of that. They totally made everything right, redid it, put it back on the market as the 9010, which usually the Echo tried to make their uh, model numbers go with how many cc's of power they have. So when it was an 8010, yeah, that's 79.99 cc's of power. That's 80 cc's, whatever you can call it that. Now it's 90, I don't understand that really because it's not 90 cc's, but I didn't uh, make it. So it still has 80 cc's of power. It is actually heavier than the 8010. And the reason that it's heavier is because it's made out of a different material. I think that it had more of a uh, fiber, uh, you know, glass fiberglass plastic mix before to make it lighter and um i forgot what somebody said whether it was um, more expensive that way or if it had something to do with the static electricity i'm not sure why they changed it but they did and it actually is this is like 26.7 pounds um which is is not you know light by no means but if you're wanting to get done with an entire you know parking lot in a matter of minutes this is the way to go so I'm going to throw up the specs here just in case you want to see them. See the dry weight, how much the fuel capacity is, the air volume, the cubic feet per minute, the um, miles per hour. And uh, without further ado, let's throw some gas in this thing and start them up. Okay, so with it being the end of summer, I really don't have, you know, piles of leaves for your, you know, me to show you how well this blower works. What I do have is this, you know, very neglected corner of my the back of my property. I think I'm going to see if I can clean this up. Let's check it out. First, we're going to make sure that it's turned on. We're going to prime it, choke it. Pops off, wants to start, take it off, choke.
All right, so I didn't pick up my grass clumps last time I mowed and it's already the weekend and time to mow again. But before I do, I'm gonna get rid of all these dead grass clumps. Let's see how quick we could do it with the PB9010T. For the CS2511, we're going to start it up for the very first time on an extremely cold start breaking in. We're going to make sure that it's turned on. We're going to put the choke on, the primer bulb here. We've already put mixed fuel in it and bar oil. We're going to prime it up, make sure it's priming really good, and we're going to pull on it. Let's see. Popped off, now we're gonna let it go. Take it off, choke. lightest saw in North America, only 5.2 pounds with a 14 inch bar full of gas. I think it is uh, 6.7 pounds. Got to get you one of these. Got to get you one of those backpack blowers. Get done with your jobs quickly, easily. I could, you know, press this one. It's just, it's sweet. Got to get you one. So if you're interested in getting the PB9010T or the CS2511, go check out one of your local Echo dealers. I'm telling you, you will love it. It'll last you a lifetime. Five-year warranty for homeowners. Um, you just can't beat it. It is the best, period. And there's lots of review videos out there that show showing them, them running and being in use. I'm not going to cut with this one because a customer has bought it. That 9010, you know, I can blow all day with it, but I just don't have enough to blow here in the middle of summertime. So hopefully we can do another video showing you when the leaves are real thick and just how awesome it is, because it is. It is the most awesome blower. I mean, when you say 1,110 cubic feet, Per minute that's a lot of air you're just not going to come close to that with any other product so if you are looking for the best that is what it is right there echo so thanks again for tuning in hopefully these videos saved you some time money and frustration in the future find us on facebook at facebook.com chicanic thanks and have a great day